Greetings, Cyberdogs. This is Raindog coming at you from the Great Railway in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And in the distance there, you can see the mole hole in all its freaking glory, guys. And in the previous episode, we were hunting for a mob spawner. We didn't find one, but we did find a whole bunch of diamonds, which is sweet. And uh, that is getting us one step closer to going to the nether. Now, in this episode, what I want to do is start construction of the enchanting room. Now, I was just going to build the enchanting room in, in a room in the mole hole, but I've decided that that's really, really boring. So what I want to do is sort of stick with this kind of um, spire theme that we've got going in the mole hole, and I want the, um, the enchanting room to sort of come out the back there, um, almost like a wizard's tower, right? And I'm going to actually make the wizard's tower out of blue... I'm going to make the roof out of blue wool, so it's actually going to look like a wizard's tower, um, and it's going to stick out a little bit from the other structures in the mole hole. So that is going to be so sweet. And then today, we today we are going to start um, construction of that exact thing, and maybe, just maybe, we will be able to build um, the enchanting table today. But I think we need obsidian for that, so we're going to have to eventually head down to get obsidian. But we are going to be able to uh, make the bookshelves and make the library and everything and get all of that ready. So, in preparation for the br the blue roof that I want to build, I need to shear sh shear some of these sheep. <laughs> Man, say that 20 times fast. Because um, I need to get their wool. And then, um, I'd, I've never actually made blue wool before, so I don't know how it works. Um, give me your wool, you bastards. It's time to get naked. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is, whoa, it's, uh, it's getting a little bit, a uh, little bit hot up in here. Get out of the way, you buttholes. Give me a wool. Move, move. There we go, sweet. All right, well, I think we're going to have to probably come back for another shearing. We've got um, 20 gray and 7 white. <laughs> the cows are like, please shear me too. Shear me, man. All right, so that is sweet. Huh? Oh, that must be the sound of the, uh, that must be the sound of the mob spawner in action. <laughs> Alright guys, I want to see what it's like to actually dye wool, because I've never done it before. So let's get some of this lapis, and let's see, how does this work? Do you just put them together? Ah, uh, nice, and you make blue wool. Okay, that's fan-freaking-tastic, people. So we're going to be making a whole bunch of blue wool, and we're going to be making our wizard's hut using blue wool. There are our four diamonds that we picked up in the, in the last episode. So that is sweet. I actually already have a bit of wool. Sweet. Alright guys, so let me show you what I've already been doing. Um, just to give you an idea of... Oh man, I got freaking confused there. Um, just to give you an idea of where we are going to put the wizard's hut. So what I thought is, this room is going to be like an entrance to the um, the wizard's tower, right? And I'm, I'm going to put like a fountain or something here to represent the magicalness of this room. And then the um, the actual spire itself is going to be in here. And the spire is going to go all the way up and, um, and all the way down also. And there's just going to be a single um, ladder staircase thing going all the way um, up to the, the top of the tower. And then at the top of the tower, we're going to make a, a square room that out of bookshelves so we need to completely encase the um, the enchanting table the more books you have around the, the enchanting table I think the more effective it is uh, that's what I can gather from the wiki so if you can make a square room with the enchanting table bang in the middle of it right and everything else um, everything around it every block around it is um, is books that are I think two blocks away then you get the most effective en uh, enchants for your items and your and your armor. So that is the freaking plan, and that sounds like a like a sweet plan to me. I'm not gonna lie. And um, we're then gonna be able to enchant all of our diamond armor and our diamond weapons. And because we have the mob spawner, what we can do is is build a platform somewhere near the the the, the upper end of the mob spawner. And then what that'll actually do is. As the creeps land, they won't actually die, and then you can just, I can just hit them with like one hit, and then they just splat ass, and I get their experience points, right? And then those are the experience points we can use to get some really good enchant, uh, good enchants on our stuff, and then, oh my goodness, then it is time to hit the nether, like a club, the nether club, with, with DJ Satan playing. <laughs> Man, it's going to be sweet. 
All right, guys. So this is going to be the spiral um, of the wizard's hut. And um, I've kind of just dug it out slightly, as you can see. Um, why don't we... Why don't we make it a little bit more prevalent? We, I mean, we're going to have to reshape um, the original rooms of the mole hall anyway, um, pretty soon, because you know the whole the whole structure has tr uh, changed so much that the original rooms don't actually match anymore. So, like the storage room is is going to have to come out. I think what I'm going to do is um, join up the storage room to the uh, to the, the well, what is the forge room at the moment in the mole hall and and also join that up with the old uh, wheat farm and that's going to give us like one big room and um, we're going to do something with that all right so that is the um this is going to be the spire of the wizard's tower and this is just going to go all the way up and it is going to be sweet people oh my goodness gracious but i tell you what um, we have a whole bunch of s excavating to do over here so um this is going to probably t take a freaking long ass time um so I'm gonna probably ooh, oh my oh my goodness and um, what I mean what we could try do is is make um, is make TNT <laughs> we've never made TNT before but um, I'm sure we have the materials to make TNT what do we need we need sand and we need gunpowder right and then if I'm not mistaken it's in some sort of weird... Is it like this? Or is it the other way around? Oh yeah! <laughs> we got some... We got some TNT. Okay, this is... This might be a very bad idea, but... Um, we're gonna do it anyway. Um, there's a TNT. And... We can make one more. Hmm. So this is probably not the best idea I've ever had, but um, hopefully it's not going to be. Hopefully we're not going to do too much damage because um, that will be. Does can we actually turn this uh, block of sand into? No, we can't un. We can't unsandify it. Um, right, so we're going to use a bit of TNT today, guys. <laughs> I hope this isn't going to backfire. Um, oh, man, but this is just going to help us a lot, actually. Man, that doesn't sound like it's in the mob spawner. Oh, God, I'm confused. Okay, here we go. So, I think what I want to do, right, is is go upwards and place a, a block of TNT up in there. Yeah, so this is the... All right. This is probably very dumb, but um, we're gonna do it anyway, just for the, just for funsies, really. And um, we never used TNT before in this series, so um, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a first. I think I'm gonna put it um, over here, like as far away from the. But how do I get out? That is the question. Hmm. I want to. I, I kind of want to put it here. All right. So if we put it here, right, and then um, <laughs> it's like a creeper's face. Okay, and then I mean we're gonna have to dig pretty fast to get out of here. How many blocks? Do we, one, two. Okay, so we can actually do this. This is possible. One, two. Okay, let's do this. No! Oh, I guess I probably have to set it on fire or something, right? Probably. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what in the freak? Did I just... Man, it's like I just opened up a freaking... Whoa. That was a crazy glitch. Wow. That was weird. Um, okay, so <laughs> that didn't qu that didn't quite work. What happens if I use a... Hmm. Okay, I think we need flint and steel, right? 
So let's go and make some flint and steel. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I hopefully it's too, it's so crazy it works. That is the hope. Okay, so we've got some flint up in this business here. Now let us get some irons. And how does this work now? I guess it's like that. No? Um, like that? Ah, bam! Flint and steel, baby. Alright, there we go. Okay, so. Okay, so that is, this is what we're going to use to, to light, I guess. Oh, Lord! Woo! That was dumb. <laughs> um, forgot that I have a wooden floor. Probably not the best idea to be uh, setting on fire a wooden floor. Um, okay. All right, guys. So this is it, man. This is this is either going to be um, a very smart or very dumb move. And I'm thinking that it's probably going to err on the side of very dumb. All right. <laughs> there be one, two, three. I think TNT actually blows up five blocks. Um... So let's let's try and maximize the TNT. So we need to actually go two blocks higher. It needs to be in there. So now hopefully this is going to blow up everything. Um, whew, man, I am freaking nervous. I, I, I seriously, I, I don't think this is the greatest idea. But I think um, okay. I think what I'm going to do is just like. Go down! One more down! Okay, there we go. Alright. Now we're cooking with gas. So now, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna set this ba bad boy in fine and, and then fall and run ASAP. Whoa! Whoa! Kablooey! Oh, that was so cool. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Check it out. We we that I can't believe that actually worked. That is awesome. We actually just blew up a huge. We just got rid of a huge um, portion of of what we have to excavate here. That was so awesome. Check it out. Bam! Oh man, that was so cool. Oh goodness, I'm so happy with that. I think TNT blows up um, everything though, and um, you <laughs> I think it destroys seventy percent of um, of what it of the blocks. Well, that's what one of you guys told me in the comments. Um, I was talking about TNT in the previous episode, I think. And one of you guys said, like, um, yeah, you know, t like TNT is good for ex excavating, but not really good if for collecting stuff because it destroys 70% of the blocks. So, um, but that's all good. I mean, we were just, our major goal was to excavate, and it has been a freaking crazy success, man. Sweet. Alright, so we literally only have like a few layers now to dig through, um, as opposed to like 20. Um, so that was good. Thank you, TNT. You did the business. Damn. I'm definitely going to be using TNT more, I think. I think I think TNT, as if you can control your TNT placements, um, it's actually a really, really useful tool for, for building because, you know, just like it saves so much of your iron, for one, because um, it saves your pickaxes, right? And... All you got to do is, is is collect a whole bunch of sand, and then I mean creepers are a dime a dozen, especially if you have a mob spawner. So it, it's actually a very economical way to um, to excavate, right? Because you just you're saving your tools. I mean, check. I've already gone through a pickaxe and a spade in this episode alone. So four iron ingots I've already gone through. Um, you know, it's just it's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty. It seems like a bit of a waste, actually, n now that I think about it, when you could just use TNT. So, man, we have a new best friend. I mean, oh, goodness, man. I've always loved stuff that blows up in games. Like, one of my favorite items of all time is um, the TNT and, uh, or the, the dynamite in Terraria, man. Oh, God, that, that stuff is so sweet. Um, you know, like the sticks of dynamite that you drop and have a fuse. 
And man, when they kaplooey, they kaplooey, kablam, and everything gets splattered ass, and oh, it's so sweet. I, I love that item. And of course, grenades in, in Terraria are also really awesome. And um, I think TNT has just become one of my favorites in, in Minecraft. Definitely one of my favorite items in Minecraft. That's for shizzle. All right, so this is actually, this is actually one of the walls right here. So that's cool. We'll leave that. Um, oh man, it feels good to be crafting again. Oh man, seriously, it's um, it's been a few episodes of adventuring, and as much as I like adventuring, um, I definitely prefer the the crafting side of Minecraft. You know what I'm saying? Like the mining, the mining side is pretty cool, is is awesome. But um, man, I'm I'm in the currently in the mood to um, t to oh my goodness, the TNT didn't get get rid of this line over here damn but i am in a, i am in a crafting mood at the moment man which is sweet all right so we need to i believe it's like this so we're just doing the the rough outline today of the spire um, and then once this is done, we'll be able to like fill it out and get rid of these walls and add some nice glass panes to it and whatnot. Um, but for now, we're just literally going to build the, um, the spire itself. Man, the mole hole is just like the the architecture of the mole hole is is wooden roofs, spires, and I mean that's basically it. <laughs> That is the current architectural plan. If you want to make a, a house in the mole hole, you got to go to the council and you got to ask for building plans. And you're not allowed to build anything that doesn't exactly match the style of the mole hole, man. Oh, no, we've got another, another one here. All right, sweet, guys. Well, I tell you what, man, this has been a sweet-ass episode. And what I'm going to do um, is, is finish off this spire and then in the next episode, we will see you at the top of the spire. But before we go, you know there's something we gotta do. We can't leave this episode without... Hmm, there is something strange going on in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Randog! Die, you bastards! Um, hmm. This is probably why. This needs some more light up in this business. It sounds like they, they haven't fallen. Uh, oh, God. That's not good. Hey, you bastard. Get down from there. You are not welcome. So it does sound like something weird is going on, doesn't it, guys? Like um, they've spawned and they're not actually falling, um, which is strange. Anyway, guys, we are at the Dogolith. It's Dogolith time. And um, we are going to be adding a few more names to the Dogolith. Just want to thank all of you guys for the freaking massive support that you were giving me in this series and man i'm just i'm o totally overwhelmed by the crazy amounts of comments you guys leave me and 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 the, the amount of people that watch my videos every day it's just the most awesome thing ever guys and if you're new to the new to the series this is the dogolith where i put um a few of your guys names onto the on a few of your ch your youtube channel names onto this um huge spire just as a like a a way to say thank you for supporting me and for watching me over and over again every single day guys so from youtube we've got cloud exile thank you for watching and well cloud ex cloud exile cloud exile thank you for watching and welcome to the dogolith my friend we've also got laser death sweet sweet name now from dogcraft.net we've got arr random vids in vlog random Vids vlog. Your your name's too your, your name's way too long, my friend. So I'm just gonna call you random vids and vlogs. And lastly from dogcraft.net we've got the Reventon 17. Welcome guys to the Dogolith. Um, and if you want to get on the Dogolith, guys, just all you gotta do is be a subscriber. Watch my videos, leave a, an odd comment here or there. Spam comments won't be accepted, guys. And man, 
maybe one day you will find yourself on this huge tower which is going to go all the way into the sky and it's just going to be the sweetest man i can't wait to look back on this in 50 episodes time and see all of you amazing subscribers on the freaking dog list. but guys this has been rain dog playing minecraft survival in the next episode we're going to be um carrying on building the enchanting table room and if you enjoyed this video please click the like button and leave me a comment below guys and if you haven't subscribed yet you better subscribe or you're gonna make me angry and guys this is, <laughs> is rain dog signing off we will see you in the next video goodbye